Hello, so this is very important information, so listen up. It could be a life or death situation for your skin. Oh my gosh, if you want your skin to look the most glowiest and most just radiant and smoothest ever in your life, then make sure you do not do these six things. I think they are, so we're just gonna go dive in straight away to number one, and that is when it comes to DIY skincare, like using acidic things especially. There's some things you could do it yourself, like lip scrubs, I think they're awesome, but things like when it comes to acidic ingredients like lemon, lime, apple cider vinegar. You know, a lot of people use apple cider vinegar, for example, on skincare in like toners. That I'm like around the edge, kind of 50-50 mixed emotions with that. I honestly just try to stay away from all acidic things in general, like honestly even including apple cider vinegar. Like even if it is diluted with anything, it can potentially damage your skin long term. It's a little scary to use if you don't know what you're doing, especially if you're going with it like too often often and like too frequently. Um, you could overdo it and then you could get burns, you could get rashes, irritation, just inflammation on the skin and like the opposite effect of what you want. I think a lot of people experiment with like DIY, especially like organic or natural skincare for some reason is becoming super popular, which is awesome, you know, but you just have to know what you're getting yourself into and also possibly might be a better decision to actually get a product that's like packaged like from a brand you trust and did research on because in the lab they know what they're doing chemical wise it just sounds way much better and promising so yeah stay away from acidic ingredients on the face at all costs <laughs> so number two is actually clay masks again I have very mixed emotions with it like I love my bentonite clay clay masks can be super beneficial again when it comes to acne and like active pimples on the you know face if you have oily skin they could be amazing if you do overuse it you can actually it kind of like signals your skin the more frequently you use a clay mask. It signals your skin to produce more oil without you realizing that it actually, you know, the, the, let's say you have oily skin and you're trying to use clay masks to get rid of the oil, you actually might get more oily skin and worse conditions like maybe even more breakouts because your skin is more drier more often, which obviously will kind of like send signals to your, you know, skin that it needs to produce more oil because it's losing its moisture through the clay masks. So so clay masks are amazing. I feel like they're amazing if you use them like once a week. No more than that, honestly, I would say. I kind of like quit using clay masks, actually. I love, again, my bentonite clay, but other than that, I don't really use many clay masks because I found that they can, again, be more damaging sometimes than good if you're using it too much or if there's alcohol containing in any of them. Some ones can be irritating. As long as you're not wearing a face mask that's like in insanely, insanely drying, um, even like a moisturizing face mask, Mask, I think that's awesome. A mud mask that can be moisturizing. I would say stick to those more than actual clay masks and drying. Even if you do have oily skin, it could probably do the opposite effect of what you want. So yeah, just be mindful of that. Number three is don't use sugar as like an exfoliator, natural exfoliator. I think lip scrub is okay, but if you're using it on your skin or any like physical scrubs, I would say don't use sugar. I think rice powder you can use, that should be okay. I've actually made a DIY rice powder exfoliation it could like gently because rice is super super soft so that's fine obviously do it at your own risk you know I'm not a dermatologist dermatologist or anything but I would say honestly as a whole I never really like physical exfoliators anyway I like chemical exfoliators so if you do use a physical exfoliator either use rice powder and definitely do not make your own again especially sugar you want to stay away from and just physical scrubs in general they can actually damage your skin long term if you're not careful the next one is do not use do not overuse retinol or any retinoids like tretinoin that's like a retin-a I'm using tretinoin and like I balance between different and tretinoin and like sometimes you can definitely overuse it sometimes if you use it too much then it can damage your skin in the long run which could be very frightening because again you're trying to make your skin look better over time not worse you know if you're not using the retinols or you know retin-a's properly then over time your skin can actually get more damaged and you actually might have more wrinkles if you're not again taking proper care of it as like wearing sunscreen that'll be my next tip but I can kind of tie those together because honestly retinol or retinoids retinase they literally go hand in hand with sunscreens because they can be highly highly exfoliating and makes your skin super super sensitive to the sun so if you are not following that with a sunscreen also like a heavy moisturizer at night even like you have to really 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 be taking care of your skin in that way so retinols retinoids and retinase can be very very useful to the skin 
skin and again it can get rid of acne even if you have any active pimples or if you have any acne scarring that's how I can honestly get rid of my acne so fast like it heals very fast but again with not followed up with the regular care the sun care that uh, you know aftercare okay sunscreen and then also um, using it in excess you have to make sure you don't use it too much as well because again that can lead to irritation burn stuff that you do not want to experience and then you might not want to go back to it because you got scared off from using it too much so I would say once a week you know and then you could build up from there and you have to just listen to your skin um, it's kind of like a dance it's very intuitive <laughs> so so yeah, just keep that in mind because that is like, it could be a hit or miss with that stuff. Next thing would be don't use coconut oil on the face or avocado oil. That's even worse in my opinion. When I used avocado oil, because again, those are super highly comedogenic. So I use um, avocado oil for like maybe a week. I don't even think a full week. I think I only lasted maybe like two or three days or something. And I already broke out on the second day. I got like a huge pimple. So those oils, like again, highly comedogenic oils, they could be very moisturized especially at night um, again during the winter it can be so drying and like the oils can be very useful but if you're not using the proper kinds like let's say rosehip jojoba argan oil those are all amazing amazing oils on the skin for the face but yeah if you're using things like heavy things like avocado oil coconut there's like a bunch of other ones but those are the two main things that can probably be the thickest yeah like definitely stay away from those I don't even know if they'd be okay with taking off makeup like I honestly would just stay away from them as a whole everyone's different though like I I heard some people don't break out at all from coconut oil definitely listen to your skin but in the long run like I don't know if like you know dirt might still get trapped in there it might not clean properly or all the way it might not absorb all the way because it's too thick it'll just sit on top so it'll just clog your pores and kind of not let it breathe or do what it's supposed to do like it's bad with me so it's definitely on the list and then the last one um, is just don't scratch your face when it's itchy like don't rub your face I would say tap I'm a tapper <laughs> so I think tapping your face is great usually I pat it or something like that so then you're not like dragging or pulling or again or overall touching your face you know that's bacteria as I touch my face <laughs> but that's bacteria you know you can have just weird like again if your skin is sensitive it might break out from again you touching it so I would say and again don't touch your face because yeah number one you're gonna probably break out because of the bacteria transfer and number two if you drag your face it just will be prone to say Sagging, you know just unevenness <laughs> and like the elasticity won't be as radiant you know your hands are dirty too so it's like it's just not it's not good so make sure your hands are clean also because during this time COVID and all these like weird viruses coming out that's a very important but also so then you won't have weird stuff on your face so yeah and like dirt and everything and bacteria let me know if you learned something new what do you stay away from to have the clear skin or you know most glowy skin I want to know your tips down below see if I missed out anything um do you do anything of what i just mentioned have you learned something new i want to know and lots of kisses and hugs and i will see you in the next video okay peace <laughs>